Hey, we're Stars in Stereo, and we love Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and today I'm hanging out with Stars in Stereo. How are you guys doing? Awesome, good? Great. Really good. Really awesome. Hanging out, having yeah. a good time on tour with oh, the yeah, used. Yeah, Sweet, so we're gonna start off some finish the sentence. So I say we just pass around the microphone, each of you can answer this. So my favorite place to visit on tour is? Uh, that's tough. I would say Orlando, cause I'm a, I'm a Disney freak, so. I'm really glad you said Orlando. Yeah, that's my, Good. that's like my, my secret <laughs> thing is I'm a huge Disney fan, so. You gotta check out the parks? Oh yeah, Have of course. Of Good. course, all day. Epcot was amazing. <laughs> you better check out Harry Potter too. It's oh, oh, I yeah, did that. Yeah. Oh, good, good. It's too cool, yeah. Um, I guess my favorite place so far I mean, has been Boston. Mm -hmm. I love it out mm -hmm. there. It's a really cool city. So I know a lot of people talk about Boston, so go check it out there someday. For sure. All right. Um, my favorite place to visit on tour is probably New Orleans. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. A lot of history. A lot of fun. Still, in general. I'm going to go with definitely New York City. It's my oh, yeah. favorite city in the country by far. You guys took all the. <laughs> 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 I was going to say LA too. But yeah, you know, I, I, like going, I like going home to LA. Yeah. 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 I back it. Nice. Seems like you guys have been to a lot of different places. So that's so cool. If I were an animal, I would be a. I really like squirrels, so I, I'd probably be a squirrel. Any specific reason, just I, I, hanging out? I don't know, it's just hanging out, trying to get a nut, you know what I mean? They're, they're just fun, they just <laughs> are always running around. When's the last time you saw a squirrel walking? <laughs> true statement. Never. True. I did see a baby squirrel this morning. Exactly. Yesterday. And didn't you go, oh, oh yeah, 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 exactly. Did you think of him? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I just ruined squirrels for you. Good luck with that. Okay, so this is going to be good. Next answer. Um, <clears throat> this is really hard. I, I guess a hawk. I just want to fly. A hawk. <laughs> That's right. neat. Yeah. A dolphin. For sure a dolphin. Yeah. So you can go hang out with all your friends at SeaWorld, they, right? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a terrible place for a dolphin. <laughs> Uh, I, I really have no idea. I guess I would also go with a bird of any kind just because it would be so awesome to fly. And you could save some airplane money there. Yeah, and I could you know, pick up bird. rodents <laughs> with my got, talons. You got like awesome street cred because they used to be dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, raptor. Raptors in the bird family. There, you go. there we go. Uh, I guess the obvious answer would be a frog, but uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with some kind of big cat like a snow leopard or something just to be wow. on top of the food chain. There go all the birds, then. <laughs> At a Stars and Stereo show, fans can expect to see... Uh, an awesome time. Yes. Or, I guess they'll have an awesome time. They'll see us having an awesome time with them. Yes, definitely they'll see you guys. Some music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, I think it's our intention to always have a really high energy show mm -hmm. uh, have a lot of fun up there make sure the audience is having fun and um, I guess we're kind of sexy yeah. <laughs> that's what I hear At a stars and stereo show fans can expect to see um, Jordan stage diving yeah, I tend to do it's that. a safe oh. bet it's a safe bet yes oh geez oh, running out of answers here um, your beanie, maybe? No, this no. actually isn't even my beanie. <laughs> I'm borrowing it. It's on loan. Um, I tried. At a Stars and Stereo show, fans can expect to see five people pouring everything they have into one 30-minute set until we get a longer set. <laughs> uh, full frontal male nudity. Always. Um, just kidding. <laughs> well, right, there, there's a girl in the band. No, but it seems like a very interesting time at one of your shows, so everybody go check it out. They're on tour with the used right now. And so last finish the sentence for you guys. This is going to be good. My secret talent is... Ooh. <laughs> you can't say that one on uh, camera. Uh, yes, thanks. Good looking out. Uh, my secret talent is... I don't know. I... I use a mean Muppet. Pretty good with a Muppet. Nice. Brian.
Where's Brian? He's back there. Oh, he's hanging out. Oh, no. <laughs> you were yeah. kidding. Oh, no. I think we should show that on camera. Oh, I don't know about that. He's pretty shy. He produces. He's a producer. He's got his own Twitter, though. Um, Probably I can hand fart pretty well. Oh, would you like to demonstrate? Sure. <laughs> She'll do it at like awkward times too. So. <laughs> well, I like to make people think I'm farting and then it makes them very uncomfortable. I even I knew it was your hands and I felt uncomfortable, so thank I you felt for that. Just then. <laughs> oh, yeah, all over YouTube. Everybody's gonna love that one. And so, Secret Talent's over here. Secret Talent. Um, the only thing that comes to mind is my secret talent would be beating uh, Rap Star with uh, Jordan and Drew. Oh, uh, yeah, we yeah. did it at night. Yeah. We beat it, we beat it in an hour. I think. Yeah, yeah, like an hour and a half. A couple hours. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, also kind of big. <laughs> in keeping with the uh, video game theme, I'm going to have to say my secret talent is uh, that I'm uh, really good at Madden 2012 because uh, we've got a little bit of a challenge going on and I'm just referencing the scoreboard here, but yeah. I'm winning. Oh my gosh, you actually have yeah. the score right there yeah, for we do. everybody to see. Yep. I'm up three to two, but we're, who's keeping track? Yeah. So I figure that's what you guys do in your spare time while you're driving from city to city, just lots of video games, right? Uh, no, I mean, we do, out, yeah. So. No. We, we do a lot of hanging out. We, uh, we were playing more video games towards the beginning of the tour, but now it's not working for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta figure this out. Already, <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah, we beat everything, so we gotta <laughs> find something else. I don't know if it's a secret talent. I just, I'm, I really get at building things. Anything? Any examples? Well, I, I fixed the bus. The uh, oh. the uh, we were having electrical problems with the bus at two in the morning and pouring rain. I just went out, and wow. <laughs> rewired the uh, yeah. Made it to the next show. Oh yeah, move. yeah. Nice. And so, what inspired the band name? Anybody got a good answer for that one? Uh, we just I don't know. We it, it just kind of happened. We uh, we were like kicking around a bunch of names and. I don't know, that was kind of the only thing that really stuck and we decided to go with it and then it kind of turned into something that started to mean something to us, just, I don't know, I, just, I don't really have a good answer. What is the meaning behind the name? I'm curious, as two stars in stereo. Anybody else want to take name? it? <laughs> Justin's got it. Um, I think we, we got inspired by a friend's band, um, just kicking around band name ideas and then um, we realized that the the initials for Stars and Stereo spelled out sins, and um, we kind of really liked the idea of that being a little, you know, a little edgy, and we don't know mm -hmm. if it sit well with everyone, and we kind of liked that. I actually noticed that on your website you have the whole pattern uh, spelling out the name, so that's neat. And so, what is the message you guys are trying to convey to your fans? Um, we just. Uh, well, our first song, "The Broken," is just—it's kind of about the fact that everybody has a, everybody has their own problems, and so whether they're the same problems or not, people shouldn't see those as kind of a shouldn't see them as something that alienates them or makes them weird or different. They should just see it as kind of a a common thing that everybody has a problem and everybody's dealing with something, and we just kind of put that message behind everything and and just hope that people kind of just start to have fun with their lives instead of worrying about what people think of them or what their problems or their quirks or their weird things might, how that might come across as a negative thing and start seeing it as a positive thing and kind of lives a team, dies a team. That's, that's kind of what we want everybody that comes to our show to, to, leave, to leave with. It's just like we all did this together. We all had an awesome time. We're all sweaty and tired and hoarse and just... You know, we just want community, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I definitely, as soon as I heard that song, I felt like it was one of those things everybody can relate to, and it's such a good, positive vibe. So I really love the song. And for each of you guys can answer this, dream collaboration. Think big, anybody. Mine would definitely be Daft Punk, hands down. Those guys are crazy with the way they just fuck with sound and and just create things that... I would never think of. So I think it would be cool to kind of put it together and see what came out. 
Yeah, I, I have a lot of people that I really respect that I would love to work with, but... Um, you can list more than one <laughs> if you'd like. Well, I think it's probably just easier. I, I, Shirley Manson from Garbage, I love her. I love to work with Garbage. That would be really fun. Um, there's a producer named Rick Rubin, and like every album he makes is that band's best. So I would love to, produ- to work with Rick Rubin. Uh, definitely gonna go with John Mayer. In my opinion, oh. he's one of the best songwriters. You definitely today. just won me over with that answer. So oh, thank yeah. you, John Mayer's a go. good one. Awesome. <laughs> uh, a lesser-known musician named Matt Mahaffey has been the biggest influence. I know it's not a great answer, but he's really just incredible. You never know. Maybe one of them are watching, and <laughs> a really good collaboration's on the way. You never know. But you guys are on the on tour with the Used right now. So, what has been your favorite memory of the tour? I think we should just pass it around again. Each of you give a good memory. Um, we had a day off outside of Providence, and we parked next to each other and had a barbecue and stuff, and just hung oh, out all day. Cool. Yeah, I, th- I think that's that's probably so far my best memory. It's definitely been really amazing being able to talk to the used, like just as mm-hmm. musician to musician, and you know, Dead Sarah as well. Um, I really think that it's the fans that get me excited. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the the people that haven't ever heard of us, and they end up leaving the show loving us or buying yeah. an album or buying a shirt. Like that blows me. Like I love that, and it feels so good. And I think that's what keeps us going and keeps us happy. Absolutely. So. Um, I think this tour is my favorite memory of life. <laughs> yeah, I just just the, being on tour with the bands that we're on tour with, uh, Dead Sarah and the Used, it it's it puts us with incredible company, and Absolutely. watching them every night has been insanely amazing. Mm-hmm. When we were in Providence, uh, myself and Justin and Jordan, we took a like 30 minutes and allowed ourselves to just like really be fans because I'm pretty sure I speak for all of us when I say that we're fans of that band like we're huge fans yeah. and uh, that night we just we went down into the pit and we just like had fun you know we watched from with with the rest of the crowd and it was just really amazing that's been cool yeah uh, you know one of my favorite moments on every tour is if I get to invite my parents uh, oh, yeah. to come out and they they came out uh, uh, towards the beginning of the tour and you know <laughs> they've always been really supportive so I like being able to show them that yes like, hey, I'm actually fun. doing this yeah. <laughs> and yeah they're they're great That's I love awesome. seeing them and now speaking of the fans have there been any interesting or crazy fan experiences from the tour you're laughing I have a feeling there's a good one in your mind right yeah. now I uh, <laughs> I shaved a girl's head <laughs> Did she in our dressing room to? no yeah no we didn't like hold her down and shave it well, she wanted just, it just yeah check. no she yeah she I drew was she was asking drew a question and we were like kind of hanging out by our merch table and then next thing I know he comes over he's like she wants you to shave her head I was like ah, and yeah the specific reason why it was you or just uh you on the clippers <laughs> yeah I guess I don't I don't know yeah <laughs> It, she, yeah, it was awesome though. It was she actually let us shave her head. I'm gonna keep my hair for yeah. today, but oh well then, <laughs> this is done. <laughs> oh, interview over. <laughs> Any other interesting experiences you guys have had? Anybody over here? Anything cool? I mean, it's been amazing to meet each and every fan, everyone yeah. that comes up to the merch booth, and we get you know we spend as much time as we can with everyone, mm-hmm. and it's been every fan is important yes and how do you guys prepare for a show before going on stage are there any things you guys have to do anything we pre-show lot, rituals yeah. <laughs> yeah lots of them we'll keep one we'll keep a couple yeah, secret yeah. but we play uh we play a couple games before we go out like just childish stupid games that you wouldn't expect us to do but uh we try and do it every time that way no matter where we are it's at least one thing that we do that's comfortable mm-hmm. before we go on we all have we all have handshakes too that we do. Oh, can you guys demonstrate? <laughs> no, 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 no. These secret? are secret. Oh, They're no. secret and borderline embarrassing. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm getting ideas. I'm like, oh, great. This is gonna be good. <laughs> but um, so how? What are your plans for after the tour? What do you guys have coming up? What can we expect from you guys? More touring. More, More touring. touring. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna be on the road for a very long time. Well, looking forward to it. Everybody, go check them out on tour. Seriously, yes. Yeah. And so where can people check out your music for anyone who has not heard of you guys before? Uh, there's there's like three songs on our on our website and uh, a couple on our YouTube. Now, do you have a favorite way to keep in touch with your fans? Twitter or anything like that? Yeah. Where they follow yeah. you? Follow, follow Facebook. Or all of us on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter or Facebook. Twitter. If, 
basically if if anyone tweets us we try to get back to them as much mm -hmm. as we can so yeah it's important to us to talk to the fans Sweet. and know what they're thinking and yeah. Now, speaking of your fans, last question, we have a fan question here. So if you guys could go on a vacation to either mountains or islands, which one would you choose? I would definitely go on with an island. Island? Yeah. yeah. You're, well, not close, but at least you're in paradise of some sort here in Florida, right? Yeah. So, eh. Um, I'm very pale. I don't tan very well. So definitely like mountains. Plus, I just love being in nature, like woods and stuff like that. Like yeah. it's just so beautiful and like calming to me. So. I grew up in South Florida, so I island, I guess, yeah. wouldn't have to be the choice. Definitely island. Island. I'm going to cheat and say an island with like a big volcano on it or something. I so we could have both. Like someone was going to do that. So <laughs> thank like you. An, like an evil lair where I can have, you know. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, world, world domination, that kind of thing, yeah. Oh, so we know your upcoming plans, wow. like those of the band going on tour. You're just world domination over here. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Yeah, it's been a good yeah. time. And to everybody watching, make sure you check out Stars in Stereo, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe for more interviews. See ya.